Good morning, Iowa. It is only 300 and some days until we vote again. And for some of us, it's only a couple of weeks because we've got school bonds and house seats to fill. This year, voting is going to be a little different than it has been in the past. And since we've only got a couple of weeks to figure it out, let's jump into this. <music> You might have heard by now that on January 1st, 2018, a new voter ID law went into effect. That means in order to vote, you have to provide some form of ID to do so. I'm not going to get into the arguments for or against. That's been done enough. Uh, my only goal is to make sure that you, the voter, know what you need to do to cast a ballot this year. So what forms of ID will be accepted? Uh, an Iowa's driver's license, a non-operator's ID, which is a driver's license that doesn't let you drive. You can use your passport. You can use a military ID, and you can use a veteran's ID. But I don't have any of those, Seth! Well, then you might have to dig back through your mailbox. Uh, at the beginning of the year, you should have gotten a voter ID card in the mail. It went out to everyone in the state of Iowa that doesn't have a driver's license that's listed as a registered voter. According to the Secretary of State, 123,000 of these cards were sent out, and 18,000 of them have been returned uh, to sender uh, by way of people that have moved uh, or passed away. If you got the card, sign it and put it somewhere safe. The card will have a four-digit pin on it that you'll have to use if you want to request an absentee ballot. If you didn't get or lose the card, you can always get a new one from your county auditor, but we don't know how long that's going to take yet, uh, so just take care of it and put it somewhere safe. Um, especially if you're a person caring for an older adult, uh, make sure that they have it and that it's somewhere where you can help them with it when it's time to vote. Okay, so here's how voting changes. Before 2018, you just had to give your name and address and sign your signature on the voter roll. Lying on the voter roll was a prosecutable offense. This year, in 2018 and 2018 only, if you don't have an ID, you will be permitted to vote as long as you sign an oath at your polling place. Signing the oath is a prosecutable offense too, so there's really no difference between last year and this year other than the type of form that you're signing being called an oath uh, versus just the voter roll. But there is one other thing to consider when voting this year. The Secretary of State site spends a couple few paragraphs on the FAQ talking about signatures. It's one of the ways pollsters will be able to verify uh, that you are who you say you are. Um, it will apply to absentee ballots as well as in-person ballots. Um, so as you sign your voter ID card uh, or you check your driver's license, um, make sure that the name that you're signing with matches whatever ID you're providing. Uh, it sounds like they're going to be kind of picky about that. But next year in 2019, no ID, no vote. Period. All of that assumes that you're registered to vote. Just because you've got a driver's license or an operator's permit doesn't mean that you're registered. You can check by going to the Iowa Secretary of State site, link below, to see if you are registered. If you're not, there's an online form you can fill out, or you can print it to take it with you for yourself or anyone else that may want to register that needs to. You need to be registered to vote at least 11 days before an election so that your name can get printed on the voter roll, so don't fart around until Halloween and then worry if you're registered or not, okay? But if you do fart around until Halloween, you might have one last option. You may be able to register at your polling place if you provide all of the relevant documentation as well as some proof of address, um, whether that be a mortgage statement, um, something with your address uh, and your name. And with all that done, you'll be ready to vote. Just remember, in 2018, no ID, you'll still be able to vote. Just be prepared to take the oath. Thanks for watching Vlog with Seth. If you have any other ideas or stories for Iowans, let me know in the comments below. And as always, go be awesome.